Right folks, welcome to another beer review and uh, outside today and it's decided to become really windy so uh, that's probably going to be picked up on the microphone but I don't care quite frankly because uh, it's been a bit of a, a stressful few days at work and I thought, you know what, let's crack open a beer and uh, today we're going over to Northern Monk and this is part of their patrons project. This is number 22 Point zero five Independent North Welcome Skate Store WPA Northern Monk Pale Ale Five Percent ABV El Dorado Amarillo and Zappa. Absolutely love the artwork on this can. Just really simple. Just some uh, really nice skateboard decks though. And uh, funny enough, I stumbled across from times gone by my own. Well, my old uh, deck. God knows how old this is, but um, it used to be, I don't know if you can tell, I think it was a toy machine deck. And um, yeah, I've been, I've been toying with the idea of buying a skateboard again, just to get about, you know, and like going to Manchester or something like that. Plus going to and from work. So, you know, 33 years old, massively overweight. If that's not a, prologue to my midlife crisis i don't know what is but um yeah so i'm really enjoying the fact that there's a uh, skateboard related collaborations and i think there should be more because there are some uh breweries whose artwork is just screaming to be artwork on the bottom of the deck but uh yeah we're not here to reminisce about the past so that's the label completely so, welcome skate store. Uh, let's see. From beneath the depths of Crash Records. So you can see that. Driven by boredom and obsession, Welcome Skate Store was born. Inspired by hazy members, memories of our legendary northern forebears such as Sumo and Mischief. The plan was, to es plan was in essence a simple one to sport skateboarding and present the best of skateboarding related product under one roof, minus some of the self-regarding coolness that is rife in so many specialist retail emporiums. As the years have passed, we have focused acknowledge that growth is necessary, evil of business, and to confront our success head on, moving to our permanent home in Thornton's Arcade in Leeds, now in a that glorious attempt to overextend our reach by partnering with younger and much more successful businesses, we are stoked to introduce another beverage collaboration. So we've always shared a bond with the lead skating community at Monk, whether that's through working with Reese Lung and Vague magazine, which is always a good read. You can pick copies of that up from, uh, I know I get my copies from the refectory get a bit too closer. And I think also, well, the bar in Manchester, and I'd imagine you can pick up copies from the refectory in Leeds. Hosting skate video premieres at the refectory or having a sizable portion of the community working in the warehouse. Teaming up with Leeds Premier Skate Shop and Hub, welcome for a beer felt like a long time coming. So we decided to make it twice. This one you're holding plus a non-alcoholic version of the same beer, which I didn't really bother with. Uh, both brewed of Eldorado for a sweet tangerine flavour to play with into sticky Munich malt and the big pithy citrus dank herbal flavour of Amarillo. Zappa rounds out the top notes with some fruit sherbet and a touch of mint basil. This version is brewed with Munich malt for a nice deep rich colour and sticky sweetness alongside rye for some earthy spice, wheat and oats in the base to help give it a pillowy soft mouthfeel even in the alcohol free version. The result is a beer two beers for the whole crew side by side. Yeah, I do miss my uh, much slimmer skateboarding days. I always used to, although nowhere near the talent, um, I used to model my skateboarding style off Rodney Mullen, my favourite skateboarder of all time. A bit of freestyle, but uh, hey, uh, maybe I could rekindle those uh, those memories when I get a new skateboard, and I'm I'm still very happy that I can pop an ollie, um, even if it's a skateboard deck that doesn't have any trucks or wheels. 
never ever landed a kickflip though, so I think that's a challenge for my overweight, mature self. Anyway, looking very nice in the glass, nice thick and hazy, just shy two figures worth of a nice bubbly head. I know it's a trap glass, but I think it uh, fits in perfectly with the aesthetic and design of skateboarding. And I need to buy some more skateboard merch actually. Uh, I picked up a couple of t-shirts from Uniqlo when they did that collaboration with Girl Skateboards. So, uh, yeah. am I just trying to make myself seem a lot cooler than I actually am? Probably. Anyway, <coughs> beer in the glass. And it's piffy tangerine, very much tangerine actually. Oh man, that smells absolutely wonderful. A little bit of a, a nice pink grapefruit in there also. I'm, I'm getting that slightly sweet herbal character. Like fresh, fresh leaf mint. Oh, that smells absolutely banged on. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, folks. Oh, yeah. That's really nice. That's very citrusy. Not too sweet. Um, it's got a nice bitterness that builds up on the back end. There is a little bit of like a basil-like flavour coming through, I would say. Those herbal notes are there, but they're not overbearing in that sort of medicinal sort of way. It's got a nice body for its ABV. I mean, I've had thicker bodies for a 5% pale, but then again, it's a pale, it's not an IPA. Although Northern Monk, especially the sort of like, a, was it Striding Edge? And um, the stuff that they did with her. I forgot his name. The Surfer. Or was it a photographer? Like, really low ABV pale, but really big and bold on the mouthfeel. But yeah, this is a nice easy going uh, pale. I think I keep referring to it as an IPA so I do apologise. But yeah, it's it's not the hoppiest beer you're ever going to try. But you know what? I could see myself back in my uh, formative years, is that the correct term? I don't know. Uh, when we used to like buy snack stuff from Asda because uh, the Asda in Skem before they built the Miners Peg Pub, used to have just this empty car park. And we always used to go there on a weeknight after school. There was no like obstacles, it was just like different like curbs and stuff. But uh, yeah, I miss those days. It's just that, that, just going to new places just to see what you could skate on. And it's sort of like, a, we never strayed too far, but it's like that sense of freedom. And we used to like make our shitty skateboard videos, um, which never saw the light of day. But I think that was actually the f my first sort of um, venture into filmography, or videography, being a videographer, filmographer, I don't know what the term is. So I used to love filming my mates on the skateboards and stuff. Not that I've transferred that skill to any sort of profession now. But um, yeah, skateboarding always, it's always got a, uh, a really sincere place in my heart, to be honest. And I'd like to rekindle that, even if it's just me using the skateboard to get around a little bit faster. Because I don't think I'll be a popping a 900 anytime soon. But you know what? This is that sort of beer that we'd we pick up a crate between ourselves, sit off somewhere on a Saturday afternoon, skate, make our own um, skateboard wax as well. There was a great abandoned warehouse we used to skate at also that had like big like cement. Oh man. Until one of our mates literally fell from the roof and smashed his legs. And uh, we had to uh, push him home on his skateboard. Easier times, easier times. 
but you know, with your mates, tearing stuff up. I don't know what terminology skateboarders use nowadays, um, but it is what it is. God, I am sounding like that cat, that Steve Buscemi meme, aren't I? Anyway, but yeah, this is just an easy going. It's not Northern Monk's hoppiest beer. It's not a hype beer. It's just a very well brewed, flavoursome, citrus forward IP, uh, pale ale, I would say. And again, I just love that artwork. So, of course, links down below to Northern Monk. Links down below to Welcome Skate Store as well. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Have you tried the alcohol free version as well? Which one did you prefer? And um, yeah, all the links in the description box as mentioned. Apologies for the, uh, the sound on this video, but I needed to cool off after a shit day at work, quite frankly. Cheers for watching, take care, stay safe, and I shall hopefully see you all later.